Hello beautiful people! So I am vlogging today because I need your help basically. It is, what day is it? Friday. Why did I look at the clock? The clock's not going to tell me. Moving on. Anyway, so I'm graduating this year, you probably already know that, and I don't know why, but today I just kind of felt the need to go and look for, look at all this mess. Woo, sorry, I've just got back from Leeds. Um, I am losing all train of thought today. Let's just start again. So today I just had the overwhelming feeling that I wanted to go and try on dresses because um, I've seen a few things online that I really like, but you know like when you like cannot bring yourself to like part with the dollar because you're like, I'm not sure whether I'm going to like it. And then there's some dresses that I've seen online that are quite expensive and then people are like selling them on Depop. So I'm like, oh, let's try them on in the shop. If they fit me, then I can always buy them for cheaper online, you know, bargain coin so that is the plan um obviously i'm going to be shopping in el pool so a couple of the shops that i want to go to are celeb boutique that's like the highest end because i don't like to part with money especially over like dresses because i don't wear like dressy dresses all that much and my mum was saying like oh well as long as you get a dress that you'd like wear to other people's weddings and stuff then cool but i'm like Meh. i mean i just i'd rather spend money on stuff that i'm gonna wear all the time you know you know Anyway, so Celeb Boutique, I'm going off again. Please excuse me. I've uh, I've been stuck on a train for ages, so <laughs> I just need to speak to people. <laughs> so yeah, Celeb Boutique, I'm going to try Lipsy as well because there's about three dresses that I like in Lipsy at the minute and I just want to see if they've got it in store. They probably won't because it's my look. Places like Coast, Miss Selfridge, Topshop, stuff like that. Just normal places as well because I'm not that fussed for getting too dressed up, really, because... I don't know. You're gonna have your gown on for most of it, right? We're gonna try it. <laughs> I've seen Baymax just chilling in the back. If you're wondering what this is, I bought a Baymax and I don't regret it. If it oh, inappropriate. If you're not seeing Big Hero 6, I feel like you definitely need to because this guy, this guy, that's all, that's all I need to say. Anyway, so I'm gonna take you with me. I probably won't vlog that much in public because I'm on my own and I know a lot of people in Liverpool and it'll just be like, hey, um, yeah, I'm walking around with a camera, but I will show you in the changing rooms, trying on the dresses and stuff like that. So basically, I want your opinion. I'm not planning on buying anything today, I don't think, because I like to, I like to scope out the situation. If I fall in love and I'm like, I could not see myself wearing anything else, then I'll buy it. But I just kind of want to get your opinion. I want to try things on and then that way I can kind of look back on the camera footage and stuff and be like, okay, what well, actually suits me and what doesn't. So I'm taking my shoes with me. Bag and Queen Strikes again. I'll show you the shoes that I'm taking. I think I showed these in a haul. They're from Primark. They're just normal nude court shoes with this like cut out bit. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna take them because I plan on just wearing them to graduation. I'm not posh. I know people like buy Laboutins and I'm probably saying that wrong. Designer shoes for graduation, but I like my 12 pound 50 ones from Primark, you know? Cheeky Disney number here. Ooh, pray for Rachel that they call me, please. Pray. I need all the prayers. So I am wearing from top to toe. I've got these like fake kind of Ray-Ban type sunglasses. They were three pound from Primark. Oh, I'm ducking. This is just not attractive. And the Harry Potter Marauders Map T-shirt because Harry Potter. Need I say more? My belt is from New Look, and my jeans are the Jamie jeans. Jamie jeans from Topshop. Uh, Superstars, and my leather jacket, faux leather jacket, from misguided so let's go oh i haven't actually mentioned my plan is to get a red dress like i want to wear red basically our like cap and gowns are like black with like a gold kind of thing and then a red so i would like red to match so that when the gown like opens you can just be like hello little red dress underneath do you know what i mean but yeah so i like red red's my favorite everyone kind of knows this by now so I bet you, sod's law, I'll end up not wearing a red dress. I bet you, because this is the kind of thing that happens. But we're going to go now. Peace out.
with Baymax in hand. I've topped up my makeup because oh my lord is that a sweaty game. Graduation dress shopping is stressful. Uh, uh, uh. Anyway so you'll have seen just a little montage of bits of, di of different dresses. I was gonna like chat but the, the, because it's a Friday the changing rooms were really quiet and it was a bit awkward to like chat and then in one of the shops the girls were like I just don't get the vlogging thing like this and I was like Oh god, well I'm not going to vlog in here am I? So anyway, <laughs> so I'm going to talk you through the dresses now like really quick because I don't want to like keep you forever. Um, but I just really want your opinion. I'm going to number the dresses, the pictures will be on screen and I need your opinions like desperately. So the first shop I went in there was literally nothing and I was like okay this is not a good start. Second dress I tried on was my favourite and that is like literally the first dress that I knew that I'd like like taken into the changing room. So this is numero uno, it's the cream dress from Guess. Now this is a lot more expensive than I want to spend. Um, let's just put this in perspective. The most expensive dress that I've looked at so far like online is like 60 quid. This was 95. I absolutely love it. The only thing that puts me off really is the colour because it's like cream. It's not white but it's cream. So if I wanted to like reuse it for weddings and stuff I'm just a bit like it's a, you can't reuse it for things like weddings. But then I came back to try the favourite one on again and I realised that they had it in red. So dress number two is the red one. So exactly the same silhouette same lace, same everything, um, just red. But something, I just, I don't know, I think I felt like I looked too Christmassy in it. And it's weird because I knew that I like I wanted red, but I don't know. I still like it because it's the same kind of neckline and all that kind of thing. But there was something about it that I just wasn't sure on, but let me know. Numero three. <laughs> I didn't like it at all. <laughs> I'm going to put it on the screen for the mad laugh. Any that I didn't wear shoes in, you know that I didn't like. So this is the celebrity, blah, 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 celebrity one and both of the celebrity ones were over £100. Um, the top, it just kind of reminds me of Kim K and I'm like, I'm all for that, but I needed some more junk in the trunk. <laughs> Like the kind of like empire waist kind of thing fitted great around my waist and the boobage was fine but the hips were like way too big and I'm like I've got big hips like for my frame like my hips are quite big compared to my waist but my lord I needed to pile on some pounds around the hips for that to fit anyway so that was a no and it was super long and then number four was another red one but it was a bit too like corally orange for me just a bit you know just a bit much I don't know I wasn't a fan I mean, again, I'm looking at it and I'm just a bit like, what? Um, and again, that was super long. Like, it was supposed to be midi length, but that to everyone else just goes just below the knee. But it was like the bottom of my calf, like borderline maxi. So that was a solid no as well. And then I've been looking at loads from Lipsy like all the time. And I've liked them and they're decent prices. For some reason, they're more expensive in the store. So if I buy them, I'll be buying them online. But number five is the blue one. Again, really like this. And I'm not sure whether I just don't like the lighting in Lipsy. Like I feel like I'd need to bring the dress home and try it on because the shape of it was beautiful. And I like the little flary bit at the bottom. But I just felt like I was sucking in the whole time because it made me look like I was really bloated but I don't know whether that's just the lighting and I'd just be, I don't know. You know like when you, you want to be like 100% confident in it like at all times and I just I don't know like I look it looks so classy but then I'm not sure whether the gown like you know the cap and gown is navy or black and I can't do navy and black together do you know what I mean <laughs> so that's a struggle so that's number five I want to say number six is a red one again I like this um, I've seen this one online and I knew that I wanted to try this one on. There was another red one that I haven't tried on because I didn't have it in store. But this was the one that I'd seen and I was like contemplating getting. But again, I felt bloated in it. Like you could see my belly in it. It was that kind of material and I, I, I know that I don't have that much of a belly anymore. 
like I've worked my ass off to get rid of it so that's not something that I want to be stressing about anymore do you know what I mean like I don't want to I don't want that to be an insecurity because it, it's it shouldn't be anymore again love the lace about it love the neckline but then the gap in between the lace you'll see on the picture it just looks a bit plain in the middle but again I like I like the shape of it and all that kind of thing but I'm just not sold so I need your help basically help a gal out let me know what your favorites were what you really don't like what you think oh my god rachel what were you even thinking trying that on obviously this is my first time shopping so i need to go other places and have another look online i might do like a big asos shop and order a few things in and try them all on and see what i think because i don't know about anyone else but fitting rooms and like the change room lighting is just not the one like it makes you look vile so i might give that a whirl but please just help a gal out and let me know what you think because it's a struggle and I didn't think I'd want anything other than red and now I've kind of seen other colours and I'm like, hmm. But then you've got to think, will it go for everything else you're going to wear it for in life? Because if I'm spending nearly £100 on a dress, which I don't want to do anyway, like, I can't have it a colour that I'm not going to be able to wear again. So, like, that cream, champagne-y, goldy one, that's my absolute favourite out of all of them. But is it a bit impractical? Do you know what I mean? But yeah, so I'm going to sign out here. I, know, I don't know how long this vlog will have been, but... I just wanted a bit of, you know, girly shopping time. So, please let me know your thoughts. If you don't think any of them are right, tell me. No, Rachel, keep looking. You can do better. I'm tired now. <laughs> this has been draining. So, I'm going to go get a coffee. <laughs> but, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you soon. Bye, Felicia.